Hi everyone. I'm Dr. Angela Drummond Matthews. Welcome to week 15 of Composition 1. I hope you had a good holiday and that you stayed safe. Last week you brainstormed for a topic and completed your research plan. This week you'll write your argument essay. You'll complete an outline using the classical argument format, the introduction, narration, confirmation, refutation, rebuttal, and conclusion. Then you'll write your rough draft. Turn in your draft, then peer edit with your group members using your group tools. Make your revisions, then turn in your final draft on Sunday by 11.59 p.m. Let's review how to write a classical argument. It starts with an introduction, as in all essays. Next is the narration, in which you explain the background information necessary to your argument. Sometimes this is combined with the introduction. In the next section, you make your claim or proposition and back it up with your proofs and evidence in your confirmation. Next, you examine opposing arguments in your refutation. Give some concessions to show that you understand where your opposition is coming from, but then refute the opposition by explaining the contexts and conditions that make your position valid. Finally, write a conclusion that doesn't just rehash the bulk of the essay, but one that moves readers to act or to consider the future or to continue the conversation or study the topic on their own. Remember that you need to use at least three sources for this essay. Use at least two sources to help you prove your point. One source to exemplify the opposing argument. Then you can use your previous sources or a new source to help you refute the opposing argument. Cite your sources using MLA style. Be sure to use in-text citations and a properly formatted works cited page. If you have any questions, remember you can email me at any time. I'll also be available for our optional class discussion on Friday. See Blackboard for times. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy working on your essay. Work hard and stay safe. Bye-bye.